Our opening hymn today will be number 702. On this day, O oh beautiful mother, 702. On this day, O oh beautiful mother, on this day we give thee our love. Near thee, Madonna, fondly we hover, trusting in gentle care to prove. On this day we ask to share, dearest mother, thy sweet care. Aid us ere our feet astray, wander from thy guiding way. On this day, O oh beautiful mother, on this day we give thee our love. Near thee, Madonna, fondly we hover, trusting thy gentle care to prove. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all gathering together on this wonderful solemnity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, her Immaculate Conception. We ask the Lord to purify us and to guide us in his light, especially to forgive us our sins as we enter into this most holy liturgy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, Grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I have forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman you put here with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree, so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all wild creatures, and your belly you shall crawl, and dirt you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head, and you will strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord a new song. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Bring it to song. Sing praise. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in heaven, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for the adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him we were chosen, destined in accord for the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intentions of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, he who first hoped in Christ. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Hail 
Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. The wonderful spirituality of the Immaculate Conception is a great mystery of the Church, but it's one based on centuries of devotion. The Immaculate Conception means that God freely chose Mary from all eternity to be the mother of his Son. And in order to carry out her mission, she herself was conceived immaculate. And this means that thanks to the grace of God and in the anticipation of the merits of Jesus Christ, Mary was preserved from the stain of original sin from the first instance of her conception. The fathers of the church from the fourth century believed and taught that the Blessed Virgin Mary had been kept free from all traces of sin by the grace of God because she was to become the mother of our Lord Jesus. And in the year 1846, the bishops of the United States unanimously chose the Blessed Virgin Mary as the patroness for the United States under the title of Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception. Five years later, the dogma of the Immaculate Conception was declared as infallible teaching by Pope Pius IX in 1854. And how many have ever seen that wonderful movie, The Song of Bernadette? Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> it's a wonderful, wonderful movie. In the days when Hollywood produced great Catholic film, 
And as patron of the United States, Our Lady of Immaculate Conception is definitely worthy of our devotion, worthy of our prayers, and is our most powerful intercessor. You know, we can go straight to Jesus with our prayers, but you know, we ask each other all the time for prayers, to pray for our loved ones, to pray for ourselves, to pray for a need. And we go to the saints and ask the saints to pray for us. So isn't it natural that we would also go to Mary because of all of those that we ask to pray for us, our friends, our families, the saints, Mary is the most powerful. She can go to her son and our prayers to her go directly to her son, Jesus. When we are in need, we are called to go to Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception, and we can be confident of her intercessory prayer for us. Mary wants us to pray to her. She wants our prayers. And our praise to Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception not only need to be prayers of what we need, but remember, give her our prayers of thanksgiving to thank her for being a conduit of our prayers to her son Jesus, but also thank her for all that she does with Jesus to strengthen the faith of the people of God, strengthen our faith, and to build our spirituality. We thank Mary for saying yes to the call of the angel Gabriel, which is a call from God to be the mother of his son, the mother of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As Mary was made immaculate and pure from her conception, we ask through her intercession that God will help us to purify our lives, to avoid the near occasion of sin, and through Mary's intercession, to be called and to fulfill that call to holiness, to be the best version of ourselves that we can be. And we ask her to pray for us that we can achieve that. And we end with a wonderful prayer. In your conception, O Virgin, you were immaculate. Pray for us to the Father, whose Son was born of you. O God, who through the immaculate conception of the Virgin did prepare a worthy dwelling for your Son, we ask you, who by the death of that son, foreseen by you, did preserve her from all stain of sin, grant that by her intercession we also may be purified and so may come to you and be a worthy dwelling of your son, Jesus Christ. And we ask this in his name, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. 
and rose again and ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now let us offer our prayers in union with Mary, Mother of God, and the mother of the church in grateful imitation of her faithfulness and trust. For God's holy church, for increased devotion to Mary and grace to imitate her virtues, we pray to the Lord. For our country, the United States, that all of our elected officials may commit to the lifting up of the lowly and fill the hungry with good things, we pray to the Lord. For expectant mothers, for single mothers, and for all mothers, that they will provide loving care for their infants and children, we pray to the Lord. For us, this Eucharistic community here at St. Dominic's, celebrating God's wondrous deeds that we have the grace to answer God's call by imitating the faith and trust of Mary. We pray to the Lord. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord God, you blessed Mary with the fullness of grace. Help us to find your grace in our lives as we stand before you in humility, asking you to hear and answer these prayers in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray now, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her on account of your prevenient grace 
to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through her intercession we may be delivered from all our faults through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you preserved the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb who would wipe away our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy proclaim, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of, of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. 
may he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Dominic and with all your saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Jose our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <coughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. For those joining us live stream, we pray, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal us in us the wounds of that fault from which, in a singular way, you preserved Blessed Mary in her immaculate conception. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, on Monday, we have another wonderful celebration of Mary, Our Lady of Guadalupe. And we Dominicans in our priory, and we have a, a garden just in the back here, and on the wall of the church in our garden, uh, we recently installed a beautiful set of tiles with the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And so on Monday, after the 8 o'clock Mass, we're going to bless it. And we invite, invite any of you who would like to come for that blessing to join us after the 8 o'clock Mass, and we will have refreshments available also. And so you can join in this wonderful blessing of our image of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady Guadalupe, in the backyard of our priory. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to glorify the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God.